A solitary candle broke the darkness of the cell. Its weak flame wavered and flickered in the gloom as it struggled to cast what little light it could provide. The man watched the flame, hypnotized by its light as he slumped on the board he had been provided for a bed. Outside, the world slept, but he did not sleep. How could he? Why should he? After all, when the morning came, he would never need sleep again. He stared at the candle, saw the wax dripping slowly down its side, leaving its trails behind. He heard his breathing, the beating of his heart. Besides that, silence. The silence of a still world and an empty cell. As he stared into the flame, it seemed to flicker faster. Glancing at the securely shuttered windows, he reached out to shield the flame with his hand. As his hand approached, the flickering stopped and the flame seemed to brighten. He brought his other hand to cradle the small fire and the flame seemed to sense him. The center of the flame grew brighter and hotter until the man could barely stand to look at it. But still he did not move his hands. A speck of light from the hottest part of the wick detached itself from the rest of the fire and floated upward brighter than a thousand candles. It reached the level of his eyes, and the man thought he could make out, in the midst of the speck of light, a tiny bird formed from fire and light. The bird opened its beak. From within the flame came the purest note the man had ever heard. It resonated through this small room, echoing back louder and richer until tears came to the man's eyes. The sweet sound brought memories floating back to his mind. Memories of when he had been another man. Memories of another life. As the bird circled around him, he stifled a sob as he thought back on other memories. Memories that had led him to this cold cell. Finally, the song softened. The bird returned to the flame. It left behind a man kneeling in front of a flickering candle. He was still humming softly to himself when the guards came for him in the morning.